Hellblade Forward to Horizon 5 was a little bit of a special. And a car, specifically the Viper ACR Mark III, this is a phenomenal machine. And I think it will be perfect for PR stunts. Yes. Now, the normal Viper engine 8.4 liter V10 is very good. But the new engine options for swaps give a new perspective. So we have the Viper V10, iconic as always. The racing V12. And this. Yeah, this is a TVR Speed 12 engine. Now the TVR Speed 12 is already pretty mental. And the Viper is pretty mental. So this should be extremely mental. A 7.7 liter V12. We're going to want twin turbos to make ridiculous horsepower. We've already got aerodynamics, so we're good on that department. We want rally tires, because it's a good mixture of tarmac and rallying then, and dirt. Massive rally tires, I should emphasize. Then we can get those wider, just for more stability. We'll come to the engine in just a second. We don't really need this. We're probably going to stick with the 6-speed. No, we're gonna, we're gonna want the 7-speed for higher, for the higher end stuff. We want uh, off-road diff. I don't think it really matters. We're gonna stick it with the off-road just in case. We want rally suspension again for off-road capability. It's already a perfect track car. Doesn't really need any more for that. And then we're gonna want to drop the weight down to 3,000 pounds even. And then it's just horsepower. And the final total is with three pounds taken out. 1,300 horsepower, 1,000 foot pounds of torque, 3,032 pounds. That is a lot. And that means we should do very well on all of our speed traps. We're going to try a whole range of them. We're going to try some for top speed, try some for handling, and then try some both on dirt and on tarmac. It's going to be the complete picture, okay? So, no, I'm not going to join your glitchy, broken sessions right now. What should we try first? Why don't we try this? It's right over here. We need 115 miles per hour. We're going to start right over here. That should be easy. Easy enough, anyway. We won't have to do any tuning yet for this one. I think the stock... The stock arrow and everything will be good enough. The stock gearing should be fine, too. We'll avoid the mass rocks. And then we just sort of jump past it like an idiot. Because I didn't realize that jump was going to be that big. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the best avenue of approach. There we go. That's better. And it's faster, too. Look at that. We're already 130. No, 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 no. I mean, that was three stars, but... I can do way better than that, to be frank. I can do way better. That was a bit sloppy. We're gonna give it one more shot from this angle. So it's a little smoother, perhaps. And so I feel better about myself. Hey. Give me my speed zone. What? You know, I thought they would have got rid of this from Horizon 4, where it doesn't let you use the speed zone if you got part of it up. Oh, so I, I think I can just straight line that, to be honest. I think I can. I think the game won't shout at me if I do that. It will not. Nice. That's much better. That's much better. <laughs> I was thinking that was going to have to be like, you had to straight line, you had to like weave through the corners, but no. No, you can just blitz it straight through, it doesn't matter. 
Right, let's see, we got the speed zone out of the way off-road. Shall we do a speed trap? Where's a nice one I got low on? 225 with that entryway, we can do that. So we start over here, that should be pretty easy. I might have to try to go online for this one. Because the driver tire, the driver tars, I should say, can be extremely irritating. There we go, there's 230. Come on. Yeah, we got it easily. 227, even up the hill we got it easily. Ow. And while we're over here, let's just quickly... Oh! Hi. There we go. Nice and simple. Now there appears to be a whole lot of stuff in the city. So if you look at it here, we got the speed zone that I want to try. We have a speed trap we can try there and there. And we have a trailblazer. And up here, we have a danger sign. I figure that's a lot of stuff that we can do and knock some of them out because I haven't done any of them. Because I have not bothered to do any PR stunts until I got this video, really, because yeah, I think it's an interesting video. That's some understeer from the all-wheel drive. And because I carry too much to be like an idiot. I didn't even check what we needed for three stars here. So let's just try and go as fast as this Viper possibly can. Obviously the rally tires and the uh, all-wheel drive do not help us in a vehicle like this, but it doesn't matter. Because it's a Viper. What are we need? We got 105. Yeah, we beat it by 10 miles now. That's uh, pretty decisive. We need 160. Okay. We can do 160, I think. It is through a tunnel, I'm pretty sure. But we've done more difficult things. So let's try and knock it out. Mm. Alright, yeah, it is through the tunnels. Okay. It's just, I mean, it's a, it's a lovely city, I gotta say. A lot of Horizon games don't have very dense cities. This is very technical. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, come on, man! That is... Mm, one and a half miles an hour too slow. And that, that, that was to the unideal way, but, you know, screw you. <laughs> Whoa, Mazda! Yeah, we're not gonna deal with the Mazda. We did, just about. <laughs> Despite the Mazda's best efforts we were able to overcome, just. <laughs> oh, that was... A lot closer than it should have been. I can easily be 170 something in this vehicle, but we're gonna move it on. Where's that trailblazer? It's over there. It is over there. Now, this is a Sydney one. That means I need to have navigation of the city. And I think they said three stars is 35 seconds, so. Ugh. I'm not so sure about that. I don't doubt the car. The car is very, very good. But. My navigation is the part that I'm afraid about. Okay, so we need to go... There. So it looks like... Okay, okay. Turn around. First we want to get a running start. From... Uh, I think we want to go start from this direction, actually. Because then we can just sort of bomb it down the stairs. Yeah, let's do that. We need to go half a mile in 30 seconds. That's not too terrible. Ugh. Of course, that's a jump. Come on. I think we'll. I think. Yeah, we got this. We got this. It's this is this. Uh, uh. Come on. I mean, even with a terrible corner, that was very easy. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be trickier. But no, apparently 
That was surprisingly simple. I even managed to hit a wall I could complete more on and still accomplish it with ease. Well, that's good to know. Now, this one requires 1,500 feet. Sure. We'll start down here and go, and go from there, basically. Okay. We're gonna have to try some real um, tricky stuff for the next one. I want to try and branch out a little bit. I don't think this has the sheer top speed for the 270 mile an hour um, speed trap on the freeway, but that's not my main query with this vehicle. I mean, it's a, it's a Viper. It has no top speed, but I don't know. We're going to try some more heavy off-roading stuff because it's a supercar. Is that 15? I don't think that's 1500. Nope. That's a ways off. Okay. We're going to have to try harder. I don't know why it's not registering. Okay. That took a while. <clears throat> Let's go over here then. Because then we can get a larger run up. Because apparently, this is a little difficult. Okay. I don't, I don't think we're going to want to take our arrow off quite yet. We haven't had to. I'm going to try to go as long as I can before taking the arrow off. Because, again, this is very limited by its drag coefficient in terms of top speed. But I think the arrow is actually going to help us carry the speed on this corner. Yeah, we're carrying 195 through there. Which means we can hit this at, what, 220? Maybe? Maybe? No, like 210. That's not... I'm not sure that's enough. We also might want to angle it to the right. Oh, I was close. Of course, it doesn't... It fails you after you land, which is not very nice. At all. I don't understand why it's doing that. What we're going to try, I think that's what we're going to try, is we're going to take the rear arrow off. We're going to take a lot of it off. Not all of it. We're not complete idiots. Just a little bit. Try and get that top speed up. Okay. Third time to charm. Third time he needs to charm with the Viper. We have less grip, but I think that will be matched by the increased top speed or the ease at which we get to that top speed. A little bit of a break. The dirt does not phase this thing. Thank you, Rally Tires. We're going to try to not hit that, actually. But I think that's shrugging off too much speed. So if we do that, there we go. And then we curve it left. Is that any better? That should be it. That should be it. Yes, there we go. 15.30. And just like that, the Viper has accomplished. Oh. Well, okay then. I guess that's called premature celebration. <clears throat> this is exceptionally difficult. Okay. Why is this so difficult for the Viper? Stop being a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I was a little premature, apparently, on my celebration. That's fine. I would love to find a way to disable that link. I got distracted by it because I had a shiny yellow light, and I really want to get rid of it, but I can't. So let's just try our best to ignore it. Carry... 198, that's good. That's not good. I, I, I don't know why I'm being so precise. I don't think it really matters, but I want to get this right, damn it. That. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. This danger sign has befuddled me as to why it is so bloody difficult. And then we cut over, avoid the fence. There we go. There we go, we cut left to avoid the fence, and then, 
There we go. That's it for sure this time. Ha ha ha. Three stars. Thank you very much, you annoying danger sign. <laughs> for the final leg of our adventure, we are going to try to mess around in the jungle. We're going to try and get this speed trap, 135. We're going to try and get this danger sign at 950. And then we're going to try the final challenge. A drift zone. I don't know if that's going to be possible with the Viper, because it's a Viper ACR. But we're going to give it a good try. Right now we, get, we need to get 135 on this speed trap, which I don't think is going to be much of a challenge. But then again, I said that about the incredibly difficult um, danger sign, and look at how that turned out. I also can't see where I'm going. But I found the road. All is averted. That's a tree that I'm gonna hit. Let's not. Keep it in fifth of the water. Oh! There, that's... Okay. Okay, that's nasty. That, again, I think... I may have been on one eye and chew. This is a low slung race car. We're trying to actually go through water splashes at 130 and I don't think that's possible. 109. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to carry a million miles an hour through there because we are just so low. You know, because we're a Viper ACR, not a Jeep Wrangler. Ow. I don't think we can do this one, to be frank. Come on! Ugh. I just lose so much speed. I lose so much speed. When we can carry 108 through that corner. That's reassuring. If we carry 108 through there, carry it through the, wa the first water splash, maybe. Maybe. Oh, this. I think I, I think I made an oopsie with this one, picking this one. Come on. Please, please. No, I... Ugh. Yeah, I don't think we can do that one. What? That's really nasty. Because this... Oh. What can I do? Is there, like, a better run-up I can take? Not really. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Huh, okay. Um... We'll try going down the hill again. It has... Because it's a very low-slung sports car. It is a sports car. And, uh, yeah. It's not designed to go through water. So the drag, if you will, is stupendous. We're wheeling. That's not ideal. And I'm getting bounced around, too. I don't know why I'm getting bounced around so much. I'm on rally suspension. Come on! No! Yeah, I, I can't. I'm gonna try and improve my gear shifts. I was in fourth for a little too long, but that was a good line. And... Um, game? Thank you. <laughs> There's fourth. There's sixth. And, I mean, it didn't recognize it anyway, because it's a pillock, but... We're leaving fifth. Just let me recognize the speed trap, you... 110, that's the best I can do. I carried 160 into there. That is the best that I can do with this vehicle. Damn. Okay. Um, off to the danger sign, I guess. That's disappointing. Yeah, they put a speed trap in a river. Oh, okay, I thought there would be a run-up for that. There wasn't. I'm... Okay. Damn. <laughs> I was really hoping I could get three stars on everything that I've attempted, but there's just no way for me to get that. Not with this vehicle, anyway. I mean, look at how low it is. I'm practically a submarine. I, I am a submarine in some cases, going up these waterfalls. 
So we're gonna have to take to the dirt. Yeah, there's a trail here we can follow. At least there's a trail. We're not going through the water this time. Because that would be very unpleasant. 950 feet, 950. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. I need to get into a better position so that I don't, you know, have to turn so much. So if we... There we go, that's better. All right, 950 feet is achievable. Ooh, that's gonna be tricky. That's gonna be very tricky, because that was, I mean, not a terrible run. It also wasn't the greatest run, but... Okay, as long as we're not feeding it through the trees, I think. We're also in a Horizon Outpost. I did not realize that. Okay. The more you know. Now we just have to feed it through the trees, not through the water, though. Let's not feed it through the water. That's bad. Get me off the broth. Ugh. Well, I mean, it's a very, for what it is, it's a very good off-road vehicle, apparently. Okay, uh, how am I going to do this? Yeah, I think it's just going to be picking our line through the foliage. Oh, I see one. I see, I see a very good line, actually. I don't even know how to go through the trees. If I just go this way, yeah. If I just go this way, I can go straight past the trees. And I can carry a gob of speed through it. Yes! There we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Okay. I mean, it failed us to get a tree, but we can totally do that. That is, that is definitely doable. That is 100% doable. All we need is a run-up. That is all we need for this. Okay. We got a 200 mile an hour run up. And then we just sort of launch it. No, 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 no. Nine feet off, really? Really? Nine feet off. Ah, that close. Ah, okay. It's fine. We just need a bigger run-up, apparently. A bigger run-up and a slightly better line. I actually thought that had landed. It was so low. Okay. So, there we go. We're in 7th. We're gonna hit it about 210. Avoid the... thing. I hit it at 220. Yes! And we don't hit any trees! Ugh. Hi. There we go. There we go. Ha ha ha! The Viper redeemed itself from the slightly disappointing speed trap. Now let's try drifting for one last attempt. We need 100,000 points. What we're gonna do... You're gonna like this. We're gonna go into our differential. And we're gonna tune it so it's 85% rear. And that's what we're gonna do. It means we're gonna be a lot more oversteery. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that's good. That's what we want. We need 100,000 points. Now, Drift Zones off-road are notoriously difficult because they're very finicky with their um, zone, if you will. You can't go very far off the, the dirt road or else the game gets unhappy with you and doesn't score any points, even though you're with between the flags. Now we're gonna get all of our points on this final corner. Come on, we only need 20,000 more. No! Ah! 98,000! Right, we can do it, we can do it. We can actually do it in the Viper. We're not gonna be very good. We're only gonna have a hundred thousand just over that, actually, but we can totally do it. Thank you for telling me I have skill points. I'm in the middle of something, game.
Yeah, you see, it's not recording my drifts. That's annoying, but we're gonna show this drift zone. Who's boss? Come on, TVR Viper. Come on. Just 5,000 more. No! Ah, oh, come on. If it had just counted that one bloody drift, if it had just bothered to count it, instead of being a little tool, it would have been done. Come on. I had to pick up off-road drift zone, didn't I? I had to, I couldn't have just been nice and simple and picked the tarmac one. No, I had to torture myself and do an off-road one where it's really finicky and not scoring me any points for going sideways when I'm clearly between the flags. Okay, we're going to try a different tactic. Um, we're gonna carry mega speed on the left, chuck it in right, so that we can counter steer into the left, into the right hander. Or we can do that, and not go right at all. There we go, that's what we want. That is exactly perfect. Yes. Okay. I don't know how many times I've hopped my horn. I've probably done that a lot. Okay. Just nice and easy. Don't fail me, game. <laughs> I know I've called you a bit useless, and you're just so stupid, which it is. But just don't fail me. We have a chance here. <laughs> there we go. 100,000. Come on. Yes, game. Yes, Viper. Yes! Victory! In the drift zone of frustration. Oh. That was not fun. <laughs> but who cares? Because we did it. In the Viper. Oh. I... Oh. That was very frustrating. <laughs> But we did it. We did everything except the water speed zone. Or water speed trap, I should say. Simply because it's way too low. But, turns out, shoving a speed 12, V12, into a Viper ACR gives you a pretty good combination of grip, horsepower, acceleration, and um, with a little bit of tuning, sideways action. Yeah. I'm pretty pleased with my Viper. But that will be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 5. I'll be back with more.